afternoon, everybody. Welcome to one of the cats' favorite time of the day. Everyone knows what that is. All right, I'm ready whenever you guys are. Go for it. Welcome, everybody. There's all the cats for you. Hello, hi Tracy, hi Dennis, hi Marlene, Jody, Miss Foxy, my other Melanie. Hi Melanie. So welcome everybody. As you know, tree time is one of the our favorite ways. Oops. Hello. Hello. Yeah, pick them up at BA, okay? In front of BA, yep, Xander will walk over, okay? Okay, get, go, bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> so again, so giving out treats is one of our ways of working to socialize these cats. So giving out treats just shows that humans are good. They're bringing good things to them. <coughs> it's another way that we also have a squeeze treat that's available for donation when you come here that the cats, many of them love. Hi, Mikey. Oh, so how do we name these cats? So a lot of them are named from their trappers, sometimes their trappers' families. Sometimes we just find some really good names that we like. Maybe um, it's a memory of someone. But every single one of these cats here has a name. Now the question always is, is if I know all the names, in which I don't, so let's see. We get Annabelle here. There's Maverick over here. That is Salem with the collar here in front of me. So every day between one and five, we uh, invite. <clears throat> every day between one and five, we invite um, visitors to come and visit our sanctuary to help socialize with these cats. So we do sometimes repeat names. Yes, Mikey, we can only do names so well. We try to have them pronounceable to our volunteers. So yeah, we do have repeat names, like right now too. We have two Olivers and they're both tabbies. One's big and one's small. Oops. So here we're talking a little bit about how do feral cats act. So the feral cats that we have here are, might be different than the cats you see outside. But again, most of our feral cats that you see don't want anything to do with humans. Look at this guy right here. I'm not sure who this guy is, this orange guy. But she gave out treats and he wanted nothing to do with the treats. He's like, no, I'm not feeding into that. Afternoon, Chris. Fatty on the other hand here. She wants more treats. She says, Wait, that's all that I got? Look at her look for all of her treats. Mitzi, oh, that's Mitzi. I wouldn't guess that Mitzi would be, she looks like a boy, she looks big. Hi Mitzi, should I try to pet Mitzi? Hi. She says, what the heck just happened? Hi Michael. So again, most of our feral cats here, they will run from us when they see us. When we come near them, they don't like to be touched, just like Mitzi here just showed you. Again, we always try to touch them. We want to win over their love and their pets and affection. Yeah. 
I don't know either, Chris. Your guess would be as good as mine, so I have don't know. Hi, Waylon. So after many years too of trying, after many years of trying, we've been able to pet Waylon here. Hi, Waylon. Many of these cats here will eventually learn that, hey, we're not so bad and like some pets. Some of them might not. We still have some cats that we've had for years that we still cannot touch. Hi. Kristen. Kristen? Check on that black cat. He's staring at it. I don't know. I know. She's terrified. Here's Caitlin. Caitlin still wants nothing to do with humans. Hi, Caitlin. Do you know Eve? She lays over here all the time, right by the food. And when you come and refill the food or put soup down, she'll hiss at you. Hi, Caitlin. You have to wonder, what do you think they think when we put the camera on their face? Hi, Caitlin. Hi. Hi. She's really not gonna hiss? I was gonna say, geez. These cats make me liars sometimes. The ones that really do not like humans are underneath the beds. Look at all these cats in the corandas. So our cats are really good at telling the time. They know what time it is. When it's treat time, of course. And they're always think that they every hour should be treat time, right? but you can come here and experience for this for yourself every day between one and five. Most cats, feral cats, are active more at nighttime. So to see all these cats out during the day is always really great. But if you do watch our Twitch at night, you do see a lot of cats out running. You see a lot of zoomies. They have the best time when humans are away. Underneath the beds here, you'll find cats that are hiding, just trying to stay away from humans as much as possible. Again, we do check underneath the beds and the well beings of all these cats every day. And then we clean under the beds every other day or as needed. Maybe it's twice a day sometimes. Sorry, it's hard to see with my gimbal here. Hi, Gil. Let's see, look at there's Gilligan. Gilligan's wondering if there's any more treats out here. Thank you for the compliment. We do really enjoy caring for all of these cats that once were not my cats. A thing to remember too is we get calls every day to get cats, to taking cats. And you know what they always say? They always say, it's, what's one more cat? You're caring for hundreds. But what happens when you get that what's one more cat call 50 times in one day? Then what do you do? We know that you all are spreading the word of furball and we appreciate that so much. Spreading the word of why it's so important to spay and neuter your cats. Your cats that are not spayed and neutered need to stay in your home. And you need to get them <clears throat> into the vet immediately. Like last week, 
to get them neutered. So that's why we're always looking for donations. We do have a low cost spay and neuter program here where you can donate to help neuter the cats that are outside. So this program is designed for cats that are living outside and you wanna do the right thing of spaying and neutering them. So you know, there is a lot of low cost spay and neuter programs in a lot of areas that we always want you to look up. So here where we're located, we have of course, our favorite one where we're located. Oh, Tilty's liking pets today. There's also Purple Cat that is available. It's in Wisconsin, which is not far. And we also do have Minsnap, which is in many places. And that's what we have here in Minnesota. Again, if you live in a different area or a different state, you'd have to look up your own, but we know that there's programs everywhere for that. Oh, there's also AHS here in Minnesota as well. How do we keep the hairballs to a minimum? So you know what? We brush the cats and stuff that we can, but with all the cats here and the feral cats that do not want any part of humans, we only can brush what we can. We do what we can. Again, that's why we have awesome volunteers here all day long because they're out cleaning up little pukes and messes all day long. And we do it because we love them. Hi, Michael from Paris. All right, so this is Isabel. Isabel, how can I really know who you are when you're not walking? I know when she is when she's walking, she's got the tail upright or curled up. Hi. Hi, Isabel. Ooh. Chento. <laughs> Flower, thank you so much for your donation. And Bonnie, oh my gosh, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Remember, your donations, your awesome donations, go directly to our vet funds. Remember, with our low-cost spay and neuter programs up, we have over $25,000 in vet bills every single month. And we're able to pay those off every single month because of you awesome donators. Thank you so much. So remember, we're always looking for awesome volunteers like our Sarah over here, Kristen, who's going to do some laundry. We're always busy. Todd is making soup. Janice is answering emails and Brett is packaging merch. It is a never ending task here. There's always something to do. And if there really is a time where we need something to do, there's always cats to pet and love on. Oh my goodness, Easter Lily, that was a jump. So yes, the cats here are very calm. Remember the reason why we're able to have this awesome cage-free sanctuary is because all these cats here are spayed and neutered. There's no fight for any loving. There's no fight for food or shelter. And these cats have all lived with other cats before coming here to Furball. And that is why we can have this cage-free sanctuary here. If these were regular house cats, we would not be able to do this. Uncle Bruce is telling us that we need to go outside because it's super nice outside. Here's our beautiful catio here that we have. The catio here is always open to the cats 24 hours a day.
They can go in and out through their cat doors here whenever they like. And this is our other side. Again, there's food, water, litter out here for them. Lots of comfy places to lay. Yay, Ashley, you should just buy some merch when you're here, you silly girl. We do have some amazing repeat visitors. Uh, Mikey, guess what? We do have a dog that comes here all the time. Bella is taking a break. So normally I'm visiting, she goes into with Janice and Brett. We do have a, she is a beautiful lab mix, comes here often. Again, most cats here do not mind the cat at all, or the cat, the dog, do not mind the dog at all. There's few that do not like her. Excuse me. Well, no one has told Bella that she's a dog yet, so she doesn't always listen. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, that's so fun. Is that, I don't know, so I think your name is probably Paula, but Frank and Paula said they're going to meet Jan and Jill in Phoenix. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. That is so fun. So you just know so we've had a lot of awesome cat lovers meet on YouTube and they go and talk on Twitter and they find out how close they are and they meet each other. Isn't that fun? Uh, someone also asked, okay, there's another question. Sorry. Furball Farm is the only one in Minnesota. Yes. Furball Farm in Fairbolt, Minnesota, Cat Sanctuary is the one and only... So we are the one and only furball farm here. Look at scary humans are scaring the cats away from the corner. And you got to feel over their blackbirds like, what's he doing? outdoor play area that we call it here which is open to all the elements like all the cats looking over there Aren't they funny so this outdoor play area was opened in uh october of last year there must be some kind of meeting over here And it the cats have absolutely loved it. We have over 14,000 square feet of surface area here. Not only with the ground, all of our walkways and everything is amazing. Again, it is donated by all of you. Trace says she's breaking empty merch for just a suitcase for merch. Oh, that's funny. These kitties always are enjoying. So I think these cats all day think about when's street time? When are the humans leaving? Maviv is probably like, why is that human have a phone in my face? All the time, she says. It never stops. Remember, all these cats here are fully vetted. We would not be able to have this open sanctuary if these cats were not neutered. Could you imagine? I could not. So, Melanie, I think that most of us are more excited than the cats, but it's going to be amazing, isn't it? It's going to be an amazing time here. This is going to be fun. 
I just can't wait to have all the benches out in the middle. I said, you'll see me and Janice out here sunbathing. I think I'm going to sign off here. We're going to go make sure Todd's doing okay with his soup making. Help him distribute the soup. So if you want social medias, we have 24-hour app you can download and look up furball underscore farm. We do not have any kind of donations or uh, government funding from the county or the city. No. We solely rely on donations from donators, which are amazing. They always uh, send us loads and loads of what we need. Scotland, do you plan on making the outdoor more inviting for the cats? It is open and very little places to hide it. So Bonnie, that is a really good question. Thank you for asking that. So this place, we do have some items for them to hide in out here. There's always places for them to hide though inside. There's many places. This is just the outdoor area. We do have the catio here that has places for them to hide. There's beds and towers and trees. Again, we don't want them to hide too much because we want them to be able to see humans. We want them to get to see us and know us and know that we are a safe place for them. <laughs> well, thanks for letting us know. Yeah. But there always yeah. is well, places for them to hide. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, look at, we got beds and towers and towers. They've got awesome ledges. Many of them that don't want anything to do with humans hide up there. So there's plenty of ways for them to get away from humans when they do not want to be close to us. And again, we watch closely to make sure that people are not being too invasive of any of the cat space that they might be wanting. So we'll always be watching and checking on that as well. All right, guys. Well, Will says here, Will, wants to take a break from your bath? Will says to make sure that you spay and neuter any of those strays that you see outside. He wants everyone to be part of the solution. And not be part of the problem. So if you're feeding the strays, make sure that you are neutering those stray animals as well. There's many low-cost spay neuter programs you need to utilize to get them spayed and neutered. All right, let's see, someone asks, do the ones that stay under the beds ever come outside? They do, a lot of them do. So I just know that when nighttime, when humans are away, that a lot of these cats come out and play, they walk around. It's so funny, some of it, we do see a lot of cats too. After five o'clock, they come out as soon as they have visiting hours because it's quieter. So you see a lot more of them out than you did before. But as always, remember we go live on Facebook three times a day, 9 a.m., 4, and 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'd go live at 11.30 on Instagram. And we go live on YouTube at 2 and 6 p.m. every single day. And then there's always 24-hour streaming of Twitch that you can find. All right, guys. Well, we hope you guys have a great day. All right. Will says he just can't get clean enough today, I guess. Absolutely, Melanie. When the, fur when the humans are away, the furballs will play, right? All right, guys, we'll have a great day, and we'll see you all at 4 o'clock today. Thanks. Bye.